For caregivers, the significance of having joy cannot be overstated. Joy as a spiritual disposition enables caregivers to navigate the complexities of their role with grace and love. It allows them to transcend the immediate challenges and connect with the profound sense of purpose embedded in their caregiving mission. There are many, many examples of how having joy and gratitude can bring peace to the soul. But one that stands out is the story of Paul and Silas found in the book of Acts. Acts chapter 16 verses 16 through 40 read, And it came to pass as we went to prayer, a certain damsel possessed with a spirit of divination met us, which brought her masters much gain by soothsaying. The same followed Paul and us and cried, saying, These men are the servants of the Most High God, which show us the way to salvation. And this did she many days. But Paul, being grieved, turned and said to the Spirit, I command thee in the name of Jesus to come out of her. And he came out that same hour. And when her master saw that the hope of their gains was gone, they caught Paul and Silas and drew them into the marketplace unto the rulers and brought them to the magistrates, saying, These men, being Jew, do exceedingly trouble our city and teach customs which are not lawful for us to receive neither to observe being romans and the multitude rose up together against them and the magistrates rent off their clothes and commanded to beat them and when they had laid many stripes upon them they cast them into prison charging the jailer to keep them safely who having received such a charge thrust them into the inner prison and made their feet fast in the stocks and at midnight Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God and the prisoners heard them and suddenly there was a great earthquake so that the foundations of the prison were shaken and immediately all the doors were opened and everyone's bands were loosed And the keeper of the prison, awakening out of his sleep and seeing the prison doors open, he drew out his sword and would have killed himself, supposing that the prisoners had been fled. But Paul cried with a loud voice, saying, Do thyself no harm, for we are all here. Then he called for a light and sprang in and came trembling and fell down before Paul and Silas and brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved, and thy house. And they spoke unto him the word of the Lord, and to all that were in his house. And he took them that same hour of the night, and washed their stripes, and was baptized, he and all his straightway. And when he had brought them into his house, he set meat before them, and rejoiced, believing in God with all his house. And when it was day, the magistrates sent the surgeons, saying, Let those men go. And the keeper of the prison told this saying to Paul, The magistrates have sent to let you go. Now therefore depart and go in peace. But Paul said unto them, They have beaten us openly uncondemned, being Romans, and have cast us into prison. And now do they thrust us out privily? Nay, verily, but let them come themselves and fetch us out. And the surgeons told these words unto the magistrates, and they feared when they heard that they were Romans. And they came and besought them, and brought them out, and desired them to depart out of the city. And they went out of the prison, and entered into the house of Lydia. And when they had seen the brethren, they comforted them, and departed. What an amazing display of having joy in the midst of a challenging circumstance. Locked in a prison cell, stripped of their freedom, and subjected to physical suffering, Paul and Silas chose to turn their gaze heavenward. They found comfort in prayer and worship, singing hymns to God in the darkest hour of their confinement. This act of joyful worship not only transformed the atmosphere within the prison walls, but also demonstrated a profound truth. Joy is not contingent upon external circumstances. Caregivers can draw inspiration from this biblical account, realizing that their joy is anchored in a transcendent source, their relationship with God. By cultivating a joyous spirit, caregivers create an environment of hope and optimism, impacting both their own well-being and the well-being of those under their care. Joy enables caregivers to approach their responsibilities with grace and love. The challenges of caregiving can be emotionally and physically taxing, but a joyful heart allows caregivers to extend compassion even in the face of difficulty. 
The joy experienced by Paul and Silas radiated beyond their personal struggles, touching the lives of those around them, including their fellow prisoners and the jailer. The joy experienced by Paul and Silas in the midst of adversity serves as a testimony to the power of a joyous spirit. As a caregiver, finding joy is an essential aspect of maintaining well-being, taking breaks, indulging in hobbies, and ensuring adequate rest are crucial for recharging both physically and emotionally. Building a support network is also another valuable strategy. Connecting with fellow caregivers or joining support groups can provide a sense of understanding, fostering a positive environment. Embracing gratitude by acknowledging the small moments of joy in caregiving can shift the perspective from challenges to rewards. Finding joy in shared activities, whether it's reminiscing about fond memories, participating in hobbies together, or simply spending quality time, can strengthen the caregiver-care recipient relationship. Celebrating those achievements, no matter how small, and expressing gratitude for the positive aspects of caregiving can shift the focus from challenges to the fulfilling aspects of the role. Cultivating that positive mindset can contribute to a greater sense of joy, helping caregivers appreciate the present moment rather than becoming overwhelmed by the future or by the past. Finally, setting realistic expectations and boundaries, communicating openly, and seeking professional assistance when needed are vital for cultivating a more joyful caregiving experience.